Good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you all for joining me tonight. I, I wanted to dive right in on a topic that I've been seeing a lot of uh, comment on, a lot of media about, of, are we facing a real estate bubble? In fact, on Google, the most popular question being asked right now is, when is the housing market going to crash? They're not asking if it's going to crash, but when it's going to crash, like it's a presumption. So I wanted to give you the perspective of a realtor who's been working in this industry, uh, who's seen this every day, working with buyers and sellers, but also from the perspective of Brian Buffini. He's my real estate mentor. I got to give a tip of the hat to him because he has done a lot of research on this. So I'm kind of melding the two together to kind of give you the perspective of what's really happening. And right off the bat, no, this is not going to be a real estate bubble. This is not going to be a crash. And let me show you why. Uh, Brian talks about the last time we had a real estate bubble, let's look at it. It was 2007, 2008, the whole subprime mortgage collapse. And back then there was three main causes that happened. First, people were getting approved for mortgages that had no business buying a house and they weren't putting hardly any cash or skin into the game. People were buying homes with zero money down sometimes. And when they were getting those mortgages, they were adjustable or variable rate mortgages, meaning the interest rate might have started off low, but by year three or five, that interest rate started to really increase or maybe a balloon payment happened and people stopped being able to afford their mortgage. And finally, there were way too many homes for sale in the market. There was a huge oversupply of sale. In fact, at one point during the subprime mortgage, there was about 10 months of supply of inventory on the market and a balanced market is six months of supply. So the reason I don't think we're going to have a crash here, let's look at what our market's like now. Everything's the exact opposite. For one, people who are buying, these lenders are vetting them. They're going to make sure they can pay the mortgage. And they're putting a lot of cash down when they do it, especially if they've already sold their house. They're cash rich. So they're able to offer $10,000, $20,000, $40,000 over list price and say, hey, I got the cash to back it up too. That's huge. When people put skin into the game, when they have equity in a home, they don't get foreclosed on. Next, instead of adjustable rate or variable mortgages, these are fixed rate mortgages and they're extremely low right now. I don't know if you've seen what a 15 year rate mortgage is going for right now, but this week it was about 2.15% for a 15 year note. And finally, instead of having too much supply, we don't have enough houses for sale. Back then there was 10 months of supply in 07, 08. And today, especially here in Houston, we have less than two months of supply of inventory. There just simply aren't enough homes for sale. So now that we're getting into the end of 21 and going into 2022, what's the market going to do? What's it going to look like? Well, interest rates are still going to be low, but so is supply. I think prices are going to start to plateau here now that the summer has ended. We're getting into September and October. The market's kind of taking a breath. So there may not be as much inventory on the market as well, but these buyers are going to swoop in. If there is any slight dip in pricing, the buyers who are getting a second chance now are going to swoop in and going to finish the year strong with some good sales. And for the next 12 months in total, it's going to be a little bit less of a feeding frenzy out there for buyers. But let's not kid ourselves until we get a lot more inventory and a lot more supply. This is going to be a seller's market. So I want to kind of end with a little advice that I can give to both buyers and sellers because that's what I love to do. Um, first, let me talk to the buyers. As tough as it is in this market, as much of a grind that it is, you got to try to find a way to buy a home now if you can. Prices are only going to continue to go up. Interest rates are going to continue to go up. But you need to be able to compete in this market. And the way to do that is cash infusion. Whether that's a gift from family, you have to incorporate more cash in your offer especially if you're going over list price. So there's ways that we can do that we can talk about, but you have to be able to compete in this market and put some good cash down on that deal. For sellers, um, the advice obviously is pretty simple. This, uh, this is and will remain the best market you could possibly ever sell your home in. When demand is sky high and supply is at an all-time low, the supplier wins and sellers win in this market. But at the same time, don't forget, price it right from the get-go. That's always my motto. If you price it right, good condition with our marketing and photos, the market will take that house to where it should sell at. So that's about it, guys. I uh, just wanted to address this. I think this is a very stable market, especially with the amount of cash people are putting down into homes. And uh, this market's not going anywhere. There will not be a bubble. So if you guys ever want to talk about this, I know people are concerned. Okay, I know I can sell my house quick, but can I find another one? It always starts with a conversation. And as you can tell, I love talking about real estate. So uh, if you ever want to talk about what your needs are, your timeline is, it starts with a conversation. And that's what I ask you to do. So 
If you if you want to get my website here, my phone number's on here. I'm always a call away. We can set up an appointment to talk about that. But uh, you got to jump in in this market. If you're a buyer, don't wait. If you're waiting for the market to come back to you, that train's already left the station, as Brian Buffini says. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. If you have questions, you know how to reach me. And I appreciate y'all spending a little time with me tonight. Thank you.